Greetings, Internet. Welcome to a world where nothing makes sense. Yes, I'm talking about Ferdy Loops. So uh, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to create default presets for all your pretty effects and instruments. So one thing you'll notice when you load up Ferdy Loops is that, uh, sorry, FL Studio, is that <clears throat> when you load up a limiter, you uh, by selecting select and unless you have your if you have a simple list activated this will not work so first of all you need to use the new plugin list so we're going to go to dynamics fruity limiter and you'll notice that the gain is turned up because we like things loud right so <clears throat> the problem here is that if you're going through your song and mixing it and then you load limiters because it's a compressor uh, it's going to mess up all your gain staging, uh, which is a bad thing. So what we're going to do is fix this so that when we load up our fruity limiter, it is transparent, meaning that it doesn't mess up your gain levels until you want it to. So, um, you know, you load up your limiter, adjust your attack, release ratio threshold. And then, then when your compressor is doing something, then you can adjust your gain to compensate for the gain reduction. So what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to reset all the parameters. I'm just going to load up my default, default preset again. Uh, oops, that's not the right one because I'll explain later. <laughs> so I'm resetting all that. Okay, I'm resetting everything. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do is when, when you load it, your gain's going to be up. So you're just going to hit uh, right click reset. And now we're at a zeroed plugin, but there's a couple of things that I would like to tell you to do. Uh, and that is adjust your attack so that it's not so insane zoid, uh, put it to like 50. That's a good starting point. Um, you know, your transients will get through and it'll be nice and poppy and then bring your release down because we all like that fast release, aggressive sound, right? So let's just put these to the middle. Those are really good starting points for your uh, compressor. Okay. Next, we're going to adjust the ratio to something, you know, normal, which would be like two and a half, three. Um, these are all good starting points. Okay. So from here, we have a pretty decent like compressor startup, but there's one more thing that has always bugged me about FL Studio, FL Studio's limiter. And you'll notice that if you put it on a bunch of stuff, and you don't adjust the curve, things start sounding crunchy. And uh, one thing you're gonna do is this curve really matters, okay? So my recommendation is bring it to about five because otherwise what you get is you get a limiter that, uh, I'll just show you my other one here. Okay, so you'll get this compressor that attacks your, yeah, let's just put it really fast. So I'm going to bring my threshold down and you'll see that it's actually distorting the waveform. See that between all, all like all my little peaks here. I, I, I don't know how to pause this thing. There we go. So between all the little peaks and valleys in my voice, it's actually distorting that waveform. So what you want to do, this is why our default curve is going to be up. There we go. Because now if you look at it, look at that, nice and smooth, right? It's not going to change the actual sound. It'll bring, it'll attenuate the volume like a compressor is supposed to do, but it won't change the sound completely. So I'm going to bring my release uh, up a little bit or yeah, turn that up. And turn our tech down. And then what did I do? Oh, threshold. That's what it was. Okay. So now it's less crazy. Okay. So I'm going to bring this back to Freddy Limiter. And this is our one we're working on. Put it to about five, you know, and this works for everything. Um, you know, this, this kind of curve, unless you want something like, unless you want to change the sound, but I'm talking about transparency here, which is the whole point. When you load a plugin, it shouldn't do anything um, until you start setting the one thing that makes it do stuff. And in this case, it's threshold. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this the default preset. And in the new plugin picker, there's two of them. So we're going to save preset as and make sure when you're on your uh, when you have this open that uh, look at all my stuff. Look at all my files, everyone. 
when you have this open, you basically, um, I want to, we're going to be going into program files, image line, FL studio, 12 data system. So you need to have your, um, hidden items revealed. Okay. So system, and then we're going to go into uh plugin databases. Oh wait, system default. I think let me just check again. Still. No, that's not right. So <laughs> data system plugin database. Oh God. No, I lied. I lied. Never mind the last five seconds. <laughs> so we're going to data patches plugin database. This is all like this is all stuff that I knew from eleven and that I'm carrying over. So we're going ML Studio 12, data patches, plugin databases, effects. And then up here, you'll notice that when we load up effects, it's got all these different little, uh, I don't know, bookmark thingies uh, or folders, I guess, even though you can't collapse them. Anyways, uh, so it's going to be effects dynamics. And in our, uh, in this plugin picker, we have dynamics and we have fruity limiter. And then we have limiter and we have fruity limiter. I don't know if I did that or what, but um, make sure whatever one you pick, this is where you save your default, okay? Because it matters when you load up, um, a, when you load up one of them, it's gonna go uh, into that exact folder and find that default. So for me, I just like it quick. I like it quick. And I like to just hit dynamics limiter when I'm not in the simple list, which is what I use most, which you can't save default presets for anymore, but I don't want to get into that. So we're going to go into FL Studio 12, data, patches, plugin database, effects, uh, what did I say again? Dynamics and limiter. So we're going to save this one as our new default because it's nice and transparent and it's going to do stuff when we want it to. Pretty limiter FST already exists. Do you want to replace it? Hell yeah, I do. There we go. Now when we load up our dynamics limiter, we now have a nice, easy, nice curve, nice ratio, attack release. We're ready to mix the music. So there you have it, folks. Um, there is the proper way to, <laughs> well, this is a good default to use. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to save a preset for you because you have to do it and then you'll know. So it's a teaching thing. Okay. Enjoy your brand new limiter slash compressor.